Hello there, everybody, and today I'm talking about some news. I never thought I'd do this, but uh, since this is this kind of a Ninja Turtle channel, might as well be, but like, we have gotten great news. We are getting a live action The Last Ronin movie. It was not for all social media, everyone's talking about it. And I gotta say, I am really surprised by this news. It, we're getting our first rated R, honestly, adult Ninja Turtle product. Besides, like, the comics. Like, the only adult things you really get out of Ninja Turtles are the comic books. Like, the IDW stuff. Like, that's more mature. Maybe one of the games. But, like, overall, Ninja Turtles have been kid-friendly with the cartoons. And, yeah, there are some... Some of the shows do explore more mature themes, but, like, it, it still has that kid-friendly vibe. But this, being a rated R in intro movie, is just, it's shocking. So, it's The Last Ronin. It's based off the comic book, and I don't know why. I've only read the first few issues. I haven't finished the rest. And I gotta say, it's some of the best Ninja Turtles storytelling of all time. It's literally about, uh, spoilers. It's about where we live in a dystopian future where all the turtles are dead except for one of them and he's carrying all their weapons and it's revealed to be spoilers michelangelo and i was shocked it was mikey because i thought it would be like raf or something because i felt like it made more sense to be raf but no it's mikey and we see like a dark moody michelangelo and he has visions of the turtles. He's with April. And even Casey Jones is gone. Splinter is gone too. But we got the grandson of Shredder. Which is really cool. And we even see flashbacks of how each of the turtles died. So this movie could really be interesting if they're still doing it. Apparently they scrapped this movie at first. But now it's back in development apparently. From what I've seen from other sources like... Uh, uh, other YouTubers of Ninja Turtles, but Tang, I am super excited for this movie. I don't know who could play it, the Turtles in this movie. I hope we see all four Turtles, though. We did actually get, someone made, like, a fan-made Last Ronin scene. I thought that was really cool. It was really awesome to see that. And uh, we haven't seen a live-action Turtles movie since 2016, so it's been a bit. But, yeah, I, I, I gotta say, the, my experience with the live-action Turtle movies, like, I love the first one. The second one was pretty good. The third one, no. And then the Michael Bay movies, I, I'm gonna have to talk about them someday. But I'm gonna give my overall thoughts. But uh, I, prob I, I look forward to this movie. Not much else to say. Maybe we could do... Apparently, it could come out in 2026, which is really interesting. So, this movie could come quick, if you really think about it. They could, if they really go hard on it, they could really do well with making this movie happen. And I heard they got some of the, I think, Walter Hamada is behind this movie. He's the one that did, like, the DCEU, or the Snyderverse, whatever you want to call it. And I think they got the Chucky writers to do this movie. Which is surprising, like someone from doing horror to uh, Ninja Turtles. That like that's that's awesome. So uh, I look forward to this, as I said many times. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. It's Turtle Power.